well hello welcome back or welcome if this is the first time you're seeing my face if my video just popped into your suggested suge suggested videos i'm not changing that i'm not editing. this is how we roll on this channel i i mess up a lot and i don't like doing things over again anyway welcome i hope you guys are doing well and today we're going to be doing kind of a menagerie of things that i've thrifted lately from different sources you've got whatnot which is a live auction app for vintage thrifting all of that stuff they, they sponsored me a few videos back go check it out as well as thread up who are not sponsoring me and i don't know why and just some random things that i've thrifted at thrift stores because I'm addicted. Also, I went out thrifting to source things for my whatnot shows. My my referral code or link or whatever is gonna be in the in the description as always because um, if you sign up with my link, you get 15, I believe it is now, either 10 or 15 dollars to spend and I get a little bit of money as well. They are not sponsoring me on this video. I just really like the app and I've continued to use them. So that, that should speak volumes to you. They're, it's a really great community-based app and I've been really enjoying going live as well as going on lives and just buying crap. So um, yeah, you sign up, you get to uh, fuel my, my addiction because the more of you that sign up with my link and purchase things, the more money I get to spend. So do it. Do it. Also, if you're new, make sure you're subscribed. Make sure you hit the bell notification because I do not have an uploading schedule. I do upload at least one video a week, sometimes two, but you never know when I'm going to drop a video. So hit that bell notification so that you are in the know. Also follow me on Instagram and TikTok because I post a lot of other content there as well. I'm a photographer, cosplayer, why did that fall? ADHD or, uh, just like a lot of stuff. So if you like my energy, if you, if you like my vibe, become my friend because I need friends. All right, let's get into this haul because there is a lot to haul. First, I'm going to start with home decor items that I either thrifted for myself or for my whatnot sale on the 24th. I will specify what's for sale and what I'm keeping, which there's way too much stuff that I'm keeping. Oops. First, we have this beautiful round frame, very Rococo, shabby chic, dark, whatever, whatever style you like, but it's very, it's, she's cute. And I will be selling this. It's already listed under my home decor listing. So if you would like to drop a pre-bid on it, go right ahead because you can actually bid ahead of time. That way, if you want to swipe something up, you can do that. But just keep in mind, people can bid after you. So you have to keep tabs on it. Next, we have this adorable cottage core. I think it's a spoon rest. So it's got like the little, you, you stick it, you stick it down. So I think it's a spoon rest. I'm going to go with that. We've got little flower details and it's a little shallow. So cute. I would keep this but I don't need a spoon rest and also I feel like you guys would like it a lot better than me. You know what I mean? Like I want to spread the love. Next, a another thing that I would like to keep, this cute little jar. It actually has like the little thingy. If you like these, you like cottage core, this is for sale. So buy it, maybe. Maybe. Next is this glorious, whatever the heck you call this, a bowl? I don't know. It's really cool. It's very Rococo, very royal, very night core. Like, and imagine this at a castle. Got the claw feet. And this is not food safe. There's a very scary <laughs> message inside that's like, if you put food on this and you consume the food, you may be poisoned. So please, please use this for decorative uses only. I do not want you to get sick. And if you would do anyway, that's your own dang fault for not listening to me and not listening to two separate things. There's a thing here and there's a thing here. So listen, if you want to end up on thousand stupidest ways to die, be my guest. Next, uh, this is what I'm keeping because I love it. I got this to sell, but then I fell in love with it. It's this cute little candle holder because all of mine are brass and this is, I don't know, adds a little variance or var variation to my candle holders and I can add a cute little stick in here and it's, it's adorable. I love it. So I'm keeping it. You'll have to fight me for it. And along the same lines, we have another candle holder. This is for a chunky boy, probably a shorter candle, you know, short king. And and this also has like that Rococo royal feel to it. And I'm keeping this one. It's mine. You can't have it. Unless I decide to get rid of it later, which I do all the time. I'm very fickle. I'm also out of focus. That's why you need to follow me because you never know what I'm going to do. You never know what I'm going to drop. I don't know why I just became a Brooklyn. I'm not from Brooklyn. I'm from the, I'm from the West Coast, guys. I am Italian, but I'm not that kind of Italian. Moving on. We have this butterfly jar. Very, very cute. And you guys are going to be shocked to know that I am actually selling this. I know. Me letting go of something with butterflies. Listen, I love you guys. 
I'm doing this for you. Also because I am, I have way too much clutter. I need like wall things. I don't need counter slash desk clutter. I have, I have enough of that unless I get a bigger bookcase. But um, yeah, so I'm selling this. It's already up for pre-bid if anyone wants to bid on it before the 24th. And I will be packaging the crap out of this when I send it because I don't want this to break. It's too precious. Kind of looks like an urn. Maybe I should keep this and like put me in this when I die. An item that I am keeping. I legit have something very similar to this in my Amazon wish list. This is a box that looks like a stack of books. And I just found out one of my, my, my besties that we keep finding out that we have more and more things in, yeah, more and more things in common. We found out we have the same like random throw pillow. And now I found out that she has this box too. We just keep finding parallels and we're just like, how have we not known each other our whole lives? We only just became friends like a little bit ago. Anyway, so this is cool. It's just broken a little bit, but <laughs> funny thing is me and my husband were discussing how we're gonna fix it when we were going up to pay and the cashier overheard us. And so he gave us a discount because he said that this was not, it's broken. It's not supposed to go on the floor. I think that's all the home decor pieces. If I forget anything, I'll just splice it in. We're gonna go through the apparel and accessories now. The first thing that I have on the top of my pile was from, from ThreadUp. It's this super cute wallet and it has a place for a passport in it. So I specifically got this for travel because it has all the, you know, all the different pockets. This is where you put your passport. And it's Jessica McClintock, AKA the gunny sax queen. So it's my vibe. I love it. Next is another ThreadUp item. Now I previously got a very simple similar dress off of ThreadUp and I ended up selling it at one of my whatnot shows so I wouldn't have to like double like send it back to ThreadUp and then they send it to a person who may end up sending it you know what I mean so I sold it to someone for a very good price but in the meantime I did look for another one in a different size because apparently Love Shack Fancy for Target runs big and I didn't know this so I picked up a very similar one in a size 2 which uh, I'm usually not a size 2 but I'll take it and then here is another ThreadUp purchase you beautiful kind of piratey lace up top and it fits me very tightly but I can squeeze my boobies in it and it fits I just can't wear a bra you know it's pretty thick so don't worry I don't I don't have headlights it's so cute I might actually wear this to the Ren Fair this weekend because it's gonna be hot I believe it's gonna be 102 and I get heat stroke so easily especially now that I'm on SSRIs which if you didn't know if you're on um, antidepressants be careful in the heat y'all be careful okay this next piece Probably the, my favorite thing I've ever gotten from ThreadUp. Favorite, like think peak grandma core, peak cottage core, everything you can imagine. Now, oh, look at it. Look at all the like the little details. Look at the little tag. It's so pretty. It's Talbot's, of course it's Talbot's. So in case you don't know, the Talbot's mushroom cardigan is my white whale of thrifting. Well, one of them, the, the clothing white whale of thrifting for me. So this isn't it, but this is, this is pretty spectacular. And look, there's even like a little, there's even like a little detail in the back. It's so freaking precious. Ugh, she's gorgeous. She's the moment. I love her so much. All right, I think this might be the last thread up item that I got. It is this super duper autumnal button down shirt. I actually did a big order to include some um, inclusive sizing in my autumn show, which will probably have already passed by the time this video goes up. So I'm not gonna show you guys any of those. They're probably already sold. And if they're not, I will pop them into the actual like store of my whatnot. Cause you can actually have listings outside of the shows. Um, so anything that doesn't sell will go in there eventually. But this I can show you cause I got this for me. It was like $4. It's a Karen Scott, like orange and red button down with like leaf details. I'm definitely gonna wear this to an apple or pumpkin farm when I when I go up to the country to pick apples because I can wear like a pinafore with it. Peak Cottage Core Autumn. I'm, I'm here for, I'm so ready for Peak Cottage Core Autumn. You guys have no idea. I've only bought one clothing item for myself from Goodwill, but this this th this is pretty, pretty dang cool. Um, this is a universal thread olive green sweater it's very fuzzy and it's got like little balloon bottom sleeves which I love with a passion and what I love about it is that it looks like a giant moss ball growing on the side of a rock which is 
what I got what I'm going for you know with my fairy core vibes so I love it and it's also super duper soft it looks like it would be scratchy but it's not really the last round of items are from whatnot as I mentioned before I've been buying a lot on whatnot because I have all this store credit and the first item that I got is this beautiful autumnal floral it's a mini dress and the girl in the the show was like oh it's knee length I'm 5'9 and, and reaches my knee I'm like girl in what universe I'm five three and a half almost five four and it's like above my knee also very tight so I think I'm gonna end up thrift flipping this to be a top because I love the top not so much the bottom so chop that off put a new zipper it shorter zipper in good to go I love it colors on me girl yeah and then after that I attended a show that was selling a lot of kind of cottage well it wasn't really all cottage core but there were some cottage core items so I swooped right in there and I got this beautiful puffy sleeved maxi dress and I didn't realize it was maxi until I put it on this thing swallows me it's a beautiful lavender color and it fits me pretty well it's a little bit big but my intention is to wear a bodice with it so in my try on clip I'm gonna I'm gonna show how I'm gonna style it and then of course since it's really long I'm gonna just use my skirt hikes and a belt and it's gonna be great the downside is that the fabric is extremely kind of shower curtain-y. It is from the 80s, so I mean, what can you do? She's a JC Penny Fashions dress. So, and then I also got this other item from this, this same seller in the same show. And me and another, it's in a bit of a bidding war, but look at this vintage raincoat and tell me this is not the most amazing print on a raincoat you've ever seen. Like cottage core, shabby chic, dark academia. It almost looks like it could be a modern piece, but she's got shoulder pads and a vintage tag. So she's, it's definitely vintage, but, and then she also felt bad because I guess there's a missing button and she sent me something extra like this sequin jacket, which I'm not gonna do anything with. I'm sorry, girl, if you're watching, you could have just sent me the jacket and I would have been happy because I love it so much. And I have like so many buttons in my collection, my sewing stuff that I don't, it, it's fine. Yeah, I have buttons just like this. It's fine, girl, it's fine. But yeah, I gotta figure out what, what I'm gonna do with that sequin jacket. So if anyone wants a, a sequin jacket, let me know. I got you. And the last, but certainly not least, I don't know where the little thingy was. There's like a little thing to cinch up the back, but it's this beautiful lace dress. And I actually swiped this up last second. It was a sudden death auction. And I can't, I can't, I can't remember what she was selling it for, but I waited till there was one second left and I bid and I got it. And people were like, dang, she swiped in there. She snuck in there. Yes. I did. So with sudden death, they don't add time on when you bid. It just keeps going. So that's why I waited till one second and sucked it. The reason though, the reason why I got it is because when I was a kid, my mom had a lace green dress, not this exact cut. I don't really remember what the cut was. And I've been on the hunt for a dark green lacy dress. And this one fits me absolutely perfect. Absolutely perfect. I just have to now find a dark green or black slip dress to go underneath because it is just see-through lace. So I think this is worth it. It's dead stock. There's still tags on it. This was originally no, originally $68 at whatever store this was sold at. So if this was the 80s or 90s. You can imagine how expensive it would be now. And I don't remember how much I paid for it. I believe, oops. So I believe that's about it. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you like, make sure you're subscribed, hit the bell notification, and also comment down below what your favorite item was. What would you wear? Did you think anything was absolutely atrocious or hideous? Let me know. The more comments, the better for the algorithm. So keyboard away and uh, boost the algorithm for me. Yeah. If you guys enjoy these hauls, let me know as well. I'm trying not to do just hauls. I do notice that when I post videos that aren't thrift hauls, they don't do as well. And that's kind of concerning because I don't want to be put in a box as far as content. I want to be able to show you guys a variety of different things like DIYs, thrift flips, when I vlog, when I go to rent fairs or do anything interesting. So if you guys see my videos in your feed and it's not something that I typically make, but it's, I still put a lot of effort into it. So make sure you guys are still watching those videos. I try to make it as funny and engaging as possible with the memes and the sound effects. I put a lot of effort into my editing. My last video was just a vlog of me and my cousin hanging out and it flopped. Hard, which is really sad because I felt like that was a very fun video and I know that connection is important and you guys getting to know me outside of just me sitting here talking about stuff that I bought. So it would be very much appreciated if you guys could please interact with my other videos as well. And I'm just gonna make them. I'm gonna make my vlogs. I'm gonna make 
my little like my silly little videos because I it's not sustainable for me to every week give you guys another haul because I only have so much room. I am selling stuff now on whatnot so it's like I do have an outlet to get rid of stuff but by the time I film the haul the stuff is gonna be gone so you know anyway I'm not not lecturing you guys I'm just letting you guys know how I feel and I really do appreciate you guys I'm very proud of the growth that we've achieved in a short period of time I believe in November it's gonna be a year since I started this channel November or December or somewhere around there and we are getting so close to 5,000 subscribers and I just hit 10k on Instagram so I'm gonna be doing a giveaway over on Instagram so go follow me over there as well any who's and what's and all that I hope you guys enjoyed this and um, love you all bye bye bye, -bye.